Hello, Mark from Two Dog RC. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a FreeSky RXR receiver to a Diatone GT2 or a Fury F3 board or pretty much any receiver uh, or flight board that you have. This will work. This is RXR and it comes with two wires. It comes with this wire harness here and then it also comes with just a three prong wire. But what you really have to be careful of is what these words mean. You've got ground on the receiver, there's uh, five pins. Ground, five bolts, that's easy. S port, S bus out, S bus in. So we're, what we need to do is ground five volts, that's an easy one. So that's gonna come off the side of your GT2. Get my pointer. Uh, so right here, this is the uh, receiver port. So ground five volts is the first two prongs towards the front. So that's easy. You're gonna ground five volts goes to ground five volts. That's an easy one. And then the next one says S port. Now S port is the telemetry port. So on your receiver, it's the third one from the top. So kind of I'll put this. See, this is the same way as this. Or we can maybe we can try this one. There we go. Now they're the same order. The receiver. So ground five volt, and then S port is the third wire, and it's yellow in my harness. The third wire down is yellow. So that one goes out, and this is your telemetry wire. So that's going to come out and go into TX on UART two. Uh, this is UART three right here. So I put this on UART two. Uh, so this goes in the TX on UART 2. Or, you know, if you have a different flight control board, you can put on a different one. You could put on UART 1 if you wanted to. But that's going to go there. And then, this is where I got messed up in. S bus out and S bus in. The S bus in is for if you connect two receivers together. It's one of the unique features of this. And we're not going to do that. So really what we need to do is S bus out. So that's the fourth wire down which I think in the wire harness was green, but I messed it up and took the green wire out. So I just moved my white wire up. So we're gonna be using the first one, two, three, four ports. So again, here you can kind of see it. Ground, five volts, goes to the receiver. The yellow wire, the third one down is your S port. That goes into UART2, TX. And then the fourth pin, the white one, is gonna come in and go to your S bus for your receiver on the uh, receiver plug. So that's your S bus, and then your TX. And then in beta flight, this is UART3, so you set this to serial, and then spectrum and S bus in the config tab. And then here, for UART2, you would select the telemetry option of smart port, not free sky, but smart port. You do that, save it, and now your ship's set up. Now you have to set up your radio. Um, the customer here, he got a QX7. Very impressed with this radio. So I told him I'd be making a video, kind of help him a little bit here. Okay. So once you've got everything installed, then what you do is you come in your Tyrannus and on the seven, you hit this button, hold down the page, you go backwards and backwards. And you want to come to this telemetry screen and you're going to scroll down to discover new sensors. So, where's my battery? Here it is. Now, I always have, I got my VTX plugged in with the antenna. I actually have it powered off on the ship. And then I've got my smoke stopper here. I always use a smoke stopper on the bench. So now I'm going to plug this in. And then you hit this, discover new sensors. And what that does is it's going to populate all these fields. These are all your sensors. So you should see your RSSI, your battery voltage. See right there, 11.2. And you, if you had this plugged into Betaflight, it should be displaying 11.2 as well. Then you hit Stop Discovery, and that brings your telemetry on your Tyrannus. And now you can set voice alerts and other things. So that's how you set up an RXSR on a GT2 Crusader. Thank you.